Hi guys, gonna do uh, another rig. Uh, we're moving out of lockdown and things are going all right. So uh, somebody's asked me if I do a sole rig for you to see. So I'm gonna do that now. Um, what you'll need for this rig, first of all, is some um, size four cams and match hooks. That's my preferred choice for fishing for sole. Uh, you'll need some hook stops, line stops, uh, you'll need a lead clip, you'll need four crimps, three swivels, four aero beads, and what I like to use on my sole rigs is what is a, a weighted bead. You can get these from fly tying shops if you uh, are struggling to get them. But I'll explain to you further on as I go along why I want that for. So for my rig body, what I use is 50 pound chameleon. I'm just going to cut that. Say about 30 inches. And then I'm going to tie my lead clip onto that. Cut off the tag, like so. I will clip the lead onto it because it makes things easier. There we go. So next thing I'm going to do is slide down one of my crimps. Onto the line. Then an arrow bead. And then one of my swivels. Followed by another bead. Another crimp. And that's all set up. Ready for what will be a bottom snood. So the rig is actually one up and one down. One up above the lead and one below the lead. So that's ready. So next, I'll put on another crimp. Just repeat basically what you've done on the bottom. Another bead. And another swivel. Followed by another bead. And another crimp. So that's going to accommodate your top snood. Then tie the um, top swivel, which you'll be using to connect to your main line. So there's the rig body. You got your bottom one. And that one there is I'm going to slide further up towards the top of the other swivel. So the next thing I'm going to do is just crimp these um, swivels which I've put on into place. So for the first one, you want to take it up about an inch from the bottom of the, the lead clip. Okay, crimp and pliers. And just crimp the crimp into place so it holds tight. I always like to leave a bit of movement on there between the swivel and beads. So I'll just do that again. Just a little closer. Bit of movement there. That's the bottom one. Next, let me go to the top. Yeah, these are about, I don't know, that's about four inches. Do the same, just crimp them into place. So, so there's your simple rig body done. Now, next thing we need to do is tie off two hook lengths. So it's important when you make your hook lengths that the top one doesn't overlap the bottom one, basically. 
So whatever your required length of rig is, I mean for my sole, I like to keep my um, snoods quite short because the, they're a bottom feeding fish obviously and um, the longer you leave your snood the more chance it has of coming up off the bottom especially fishing in tide runs and things so I'll just tie a snood off here now I'd usually use about 12 to 15 inches sometimes even shorter than that so I guess that's about 12 inches okay it doesn't overlap the bottom which I'll show you now there I'm going to do the same on the, on the bottom snood we'll keep that about the same length 12 inches If you wanted to keep them the same as all you'd have to do at this point is just hold them both together. Line them up the same length. And then cut it off. So there's your rig with the snood lengths tied ready to go. So the next thing I'll do is on your snoods, we'll start on the top of this one. First thing I'm going to do is put down a float in a uh, rubber stop so any bait that put on it'll stop it from sliding during casting or when it's in in the water bait for soil i'd normally use uh, either black lug fresh or frozen and rag king ragworm uh, harbor ragworm blow lug is probably the best one so i've just slid that rubber stop up there i know what i'm going to do just put on one of these weighted beads. Again, this is for keeping your hook tight onto the seabed. So there's a weighted bead on there. You can also use split shots if you want to. But I don't like to use them for the fact you're going to squash them around your line. But they also work. So I'll just tie my hook off onto that. My hook length is quite heavy as well. Again, that's for keeping it on the bottom. The lighter hook length you go, the more chance you've got of it raising. So there's my top snood done. Slide this down a bit. If you want to, you can add a bit of attraction with beads and stuff on there as well, but I won't. So basically there it is, that's my top snood. So I'll repeat that process again on the bottom. First of all, putting a rubber stop on. That's on. Now I'll put a bead, the weighted one. You can add two if you wish to do so to keep it even lower down. What I will say, I only use these beads fishing on um, sandy bottoms or hard bottoms. If I was going to fish on something which would be really muddy or silty, then I wouldn't use no beads because um, you don't want it, your bait sinking in the mud too much. The likes of Newport, uh, Redrick, Goldcliff. If you use them, then your bait will just disappear into the mud. So only use them on clean beaches. Caught quite a few soul on a local beach last year, down in Pembrey, Kevin Sheedon, which made a change because they haven't been seen around there for years. I know many years ago, uh, my dad was telling me they used to catch quite a lot there so hopefully they're making a comeback on the beach there you go so 
that's the bottom seat. So when I hold the rig up to show you, now let me slide that stop down. There's your bottom snoot with the two weighted beads. There's my lead. And there's the top snoot. Like I said, no any overlap in the bottom one. It's important. So yeah, one up, one below. Basic snoot, uh, basic rig for sole. So I hope you like it. If you do have any other questions on it, um, please drop them in my comment box on the bottom. You can convert it into a three hook rig as well if you wanted to. Obviously add another one further up and make your, snood, um, your rig body longer. And it'll give you the same effect. Add another bead to the one on the top as well if you wish to do so. And blow lug for bait. That's my best uh, preferred bait. Okay, cheers.